thank you so much for tuning in. I am your host Shiro Wangigi. I welcome you today because aha uh -huh, na kwambia leo conversation iko leo ni moto moto. So thank you so much my viewer for tuning in. I want you to keep up with this good conversation why? Because we are going to be talking about why women do not want to have many kids, especially our modern women. Kama kuna kitu iko hapo, lazima uh, tuiongelele ni hiyo ya watoto. Because as we are talking about a woman, we are also going to talk about a man. Because this woman, I pata watoto peke yake, so we are going to know. Nini ni shida? Unajua tukienda ushago, tunambe go, wewe ujongeza mtuto, ujongeza mtuto. I know, especially sahi, tunaenda ushago, it is December, watu unajua some women wakona yo, wakophobic sasa, wataki kuenda home. So I mean, I end home, I love the in-laws, they are just there, add, 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 you know. But anyway, and that is why we are going to have that conversation today. And I know you're going to love it because it's also going to be an interesting one. And lazima ikufunze kitu. So I want you to keep up with this good conversation at our social media handle. We are GBS TV Africa. Our SMS line is 2144. So I'm not alone. And uh, that's the best part. Ile time siko alone. Hmm? And when I know I'm having guests when you arise a kupushi conversation, vile wewe unaitaka. So allow me to invite our guest and I'm going to give you chance to introduce yourself to our guest. And thank you so, so very much for being here. Accepting our invite. Iyo ni mzuri sana and we are humbled. So let our viewer wajue ni nani. We are starting with you who is just next to me. <laughs> thank you. My name is Lillian Mombi. Mm -hmm. I'm a mother of three. I'm a wife. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and, pro, and by profession, I'm a nutritionist. Wow. Thank you and welcome. Thank you. Karibu sana. Thank you. Yeah. My name is Marianne Masharia. I'm a mother of three beautiful kids, and I'm married, and business is my profession. Ah. Mm -hmm. Karibu sana. Ni vizuri mmesema you are mothers of how many kids? Because now we are talking about this modern woman. Inge kwa niizo siku, inge kwa like 19... 90 hapo <laughs> eh kurudi nyuma 80s wangesema i am a mother of 9 <laughs> uh, a mother of 10 <laughs> 12 yes. and as we all know they say uh, the more unapata watoto the more kama kamwili yako inaanza inarudi in upya yes yes comes chana kadogo si ndio so anyway uh, we leave that scientific part behind eh? Why are we not getting kids? Because you're a mother of three, three, I'm a mother of two. Why are we not having kids? And probably, Nikki Oliza, how many years you've been married? Ni more than five, you know. Yes, true. Yes. Why do you think women are not having many kids nowadays? Yes, women are not having many kids for many reasons. Mm -hmm. And I'll give one reason. Mm -hmm. Saizi, while you already work on our total, to say that you're a mother of Two, mm -hmm. unaka unangalia, the experience that you had, the mm -hmm. ukwe mother of two, mm -hmm. when the experience yako ya first born ilikuwa aji, mm -hmm. was it good? Mm -hmm. The tre treatment ilu ulipato kiwa na mimba, because remember umetoka kwa nini, dating maybe umepata mimba, yes. the treatment gani ulipato kiwa na iyo mimba, mm -hmm. ili ita kuinfluence ujua kama utapata ya pili. Mm -hmm. so, kwa hivyo ukipata good treatment ukiwa na mimba ya kwanza, mm -hmm. Hii na kumotivate tunapata ya pili. Ah. Asumi ume, ulipata mimba hiyo ndio ilikuwa kwa reason yako ya kuachwa. Mimi uh -huh. ni mimi mwanamume nilikwambia I'm not ready for this kid. Eh akakwambia wewe ndio ukafanya abortion but maybe due to nini nini zako uh -huh. yo bila umelelewa uko and it's not good ukasema uh -huh. I'll keep the baby. So huyo uh -huh. mtu kianza kumwambia apate another child atakuwa already na ile attitude ile mentality aliachwa nayo mm -hmm. akaambiwa mm -hmm. imekuacha sababu ya mtoto so atakuwa yes. na the fear mm -hmm. of getting mm -hmm. children mm -hmm. so mpaka ile saa ataingia into marriage sana muolewa na huyo mtoto mmoja ama muolewa na the father ule alikuwa amekataa huyo mtoto at the first point mm -hmm. akimwambia mzalie tena atakuwa na zile na nikizae ataende aende na alikuwa kwanza huyo nimepata kuwa anataka so mm -hmm. atakuwa na ka the more na kana kana angalia kama is, is this person really ready for these children mm -hmm. so utapata hiyo kitu inaleta delay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sana, sema, chakunza ni jipange, mm -hmm. ni juu bini ntelea huu ni kona yeye, ndio hata in case ni kiad, mm -hmm. hata kia mwoku toroka. Uko tusawa, eh, uko yeah. stable. Yes. So there's that fear. Yes, the fear part. What about you, Mary? What do you think uh, could be a reason why uh, very many women are not having many kids? Because 
tunajua 2 3 4 3 4 ukiona sana ni 5 mm -hmm. na huyo amefika mwisho na probability kubwa ni ndani ya hiyo 5 kuna mapacha mm -hmm. yes hata 5 ni wengi excuse <laughs> <laughs> ni watatu ni watatu, watatu ndo mwisho mm -hmm. unaangalia economy venye iko mm -hmm. kuriza watoto wa kule vizuri kwenda mm -hmm. shule nzuri yes. unatafuta nani unapata mtu anakuja na kuliza uko na watoto wangapi mm -hmm. anapata uko na watoto wengi mm -hmm. anakuambia utongeza yes. pesa ya kumlipa mm -hmm. alafu kiangalia ile kazi umeandikwa mm -hmm. nini pesa nyo napata mm. hai adapt mm. mm. sasa unapata nani zonaleta shida watoto mm -hmm. kusoma shule zinaenda zikipandishwa school fees kila saa mm -hmm. unapata food shelter yani hizo vitu zote ukijaribu ku raise watoto hivyo inakuwa ni ngumu mm. mm. so una minimize the numbers exactly. yeah. <coughs> especially when you are talking about who can grow up the the shelter mm -hmm. size so, you kiwa na watoto watatu already you need a very big house, house. like three bedroom mm -hmm. kama uko na wasichana na wavulana kwanza True. Alafu kuna pia mfanyikazi mm -hmm. <coughs> pia umkesabie ndani ya hiyo yes. na we are africans we also create a room for our visitors yeah. uh, there are people who don't feel uh, secure when their kids are sharing rooms with their relatives yes. who are now visitors maybe mm -hmm. one day so um, how about the shelter shelter iko uh, iko juu like malipo yake for people wenye hawajapata kwao mm -hmm. especially tukiongea maisha ya Nairobi mm -hmm. yes. Is the shelter a bit expensive? Mm -hmm. Ama ni sisi tunajiekelea. Shelter iko very expensive. Kwanza nyo naishi Nairobi, mm. iko very expensive. Hakuna nyumba, unapata two bedroom ya chini ya 18, nyumba mm. ni 20. Mm. Na inadepend na vio unalipwa. Mm. Unalipa nani, unalipi watoto shule, wanakula, mm. unapatia shelter, clothing. Hizo zote, bado unangali watoto ni wangapi. Mm. 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 So unaona, hey, badala ya kuwa wengine wacha ni lehawa. Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Kuna hipa tumiongea ya nani and I would want us to talk about it because I know every time you meet a woman eh, probably atameka a call yenye utajua hapo anaongea na nani, yes. akona trouble na nani, mm. ako, you know because our nannies nowadays pia see what has happened. It's not like kitambo. Mm. So uh, what can you talk about when we talk about nani na raising your kids? Yes. Nani and raising your kids, sasa nini, inakujanga, when you have maybe something like two children, mm -hmm. when you're choosing a nani, mm -hmm. ula kusaidi to raise the children, unangaliyanga mm -hmm. first, the age of the nani. Kwa mm -hmm. zukileta mtoto ale, maybe when you're 30, mm -hmm. umeleta nani wa 20 years, na ukona a child of 2 years, na maybe wa 3 years. Mm -hmm. Unapata huyo nani bado ajamachua, so ajuu kulea wa watoto. Mm. Utapata troubles with nani. Unamambia labda ya pike uji, maybe ajuu kupika uji. Mm. Change ya child, child diaper mm -hmm. this time and this time labda hajui. So at times it's very challenging ukiwa na watoto na mm. maybe then available nani unapata maybe she's young. Mm -hmm. Unapata are you able to handle both work na watoto. Mm. So unapata una move strain. Mm. See, see at she's not able to work well but una move strain. Kulingana mm. na her years are you able to perform zile task mm. mm. So utapata sana sana here cause watu wale wanaandika nani wawalelewa watoto ni watu wa the city. Let yes. us say city cause yes. Una, unapata nani ya hako, ameku, ukona nani, ukona watoto, tsema ukona watoto four ama five, mm -hmm. nani kwanza anakuja na angalia workload, anasema watoto five hizo ni nguo very many, eh. sababu anakount zako, za mm -hmm. husband, na za watoto, na zake, maybe majima lina choto, it's not within the, yes. the house, maybe unachota nje, mm -hmm. saa so, kika anangalia workload, the nani anakuja tu, Moral inaisha tu. Anakuja unasikia alienda kwa place ingini. Mm. So when you having many children, mm. kuna, utakuwa na shida ya nani. Utakuwa unawandika, maybe wengine 24 hours wametoka, wameacha kazi. Mm. Mungine 2 days. Yes. Sana sana ukua na watoto kama 8. Nani zawezika? Ah, it's yeah. na end of travel. <laughs> it happens. Unapadu kuna watoto wengi. Maybe wangu pesa ya kuandika wa nani zawili. Kwa zibadu unangalia food. Food is very expensive. Mm. Ongezea tu nani, sangalia eight children, yourself, your husband. <laughs> Unapata wezi afford that. Mm. Yes. Ushawai uh, sikia kesi ya mtu wako na mapacha? The first time alafu anafanya kazi. Mm. Do you know that person is uh, forced to have two nannies? Moja wakuangalia watoto, mungine wa house wa ku manage the house and it becomes very expensive
because uh, when I'm talking about mapacha, ni nataka kuweka hawa watu tuseme umeweza within maybe time ukajikuta bado uko na ball na watoto umtu aja grow mm. au watoto tawalea kama mapacha kabisa kwa sababu watakuwa wanachana na kama one year mm. mtoto wameachana na one year na huyu mwingine bado ni mdogo ai hapo ni kama mapacha mm. so it becomes very expensive uh, you have to pay huyu wa kuangalia watoto na mwingine wa wanini so and i feel also that could be the reason why mwanamke anaweza ona ai mimi ni kama wacha tu nikae na hawa kwanza uh, and there are these um, people wenye pia wao kama wewe uko na watoto yes. watatu umeandika nani mm. do you think we as women mm-hmm. pia tunawapea problems such that pia wao hawaezi tupea environment ya kutulelea watoto wetu vizuri true uh, yenye inafanya unaona ule ni mbaya mm. unaona mm. na ni wewe umemtrabu mm. yule ni mbaya na wewe ndio shida mm. lakini most women wanaona mm. yule ndio mbaya yule ni mbaya mpaka unaona aezi kupea environment wewe uwezi mpea environment ya kukulelea watoto wako vizuri are we women also becoming the problem where uh, our maids wanashindwa kutufanyia kazi na sisi pia tunashindwa kuzaa watoto would that be the reason mm-hmm. yes mimi mm. sana sana unajua huyo help umeleta ni mtu kama wewe unajua umemleta sababu you cannot handle watoto kazi kazi ya nyumba bwana all all ni nizo vitu zote so umeleta a helper mm. ndio kitu nasahau ila sasa umemleta hapo don't expect so much mm. eh just kuwa na zile unaambia ngo ukitaka huyo msichana akae akusaidie kulea watoto vizuri fast mna, mna create a relationship ile mko wewe na yeye mko close kwa nini yeye ndio anakuochea watoto mm. ndio waocha watoto kama wake lazima u create a good environment mm-hmm. mahali ana feel ako loved mm. asione tu ako tu cause ni yes. kazi sure. unaambia mimi kama ni ningefika kwa kwa kazi yangu late ningekuwa fired so don't bring that mm. ile sana kulelea watoto cuz mm. kulelea watoto it's, a, it's not it's an easy different. job mm. kama sawa watu umefuatanisha not not many parents wanaweza afford kuandika tu na ah, it's why ni ngumu it's only mm. those favored ones mm. ukipata so, unaweza uh, employ two nannies uko kwa category ya favored utapata mtu amepata wao watatu hata wamefuatana doremi mm. doremi wanalelewa na huyo msana mmoja mm. so expectation we should lower our expectations mm. Acha kama ni kazi ya watoto mwambie mimi nataka kusini na, na, niko na watoto mm. wamefuatana na nataka mm. unilelea watoto mm. anything to do make sure wamekula this time yes. make sure ni wasafi mm. make sure hizo azin zile anafikana perfect hiyo kazi ya nyumba it's okay atafanya but si usimweke a, lo, a high gear mm. afanye the same na watoto mm. tujifunze ku balance unamwambia kama you will wake up early tayarisha vitu za watoto hivi if they are going to school na kama wanaka make sure food imeiva ata ndio wakiamka unaanza kuwatikia kia kwa wow. times utapata una overstrain msichana unataka amke asubuhi like at 5 afue akimaliza kufua a make you na ni mtu na ni mtu kama wewe na hiyo kazi ungeweza kuifanya na no, ukibaki kwa mm. nyumba ifanye hiyo kazi unasikia una struggle na go through mm. 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 na kuna wale wa mama wa kufika wakifanya mm. 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 mpaka ukuta anakuja hata saa moja tu anamsumbua eh mm. anamsumbua si ndio mm. but there are very many reasons those are among because why am i mbona nasema hivyo ni kwa sababu i also know we women sometimes tunajifanya so much bosses mm-hmm. uh, that tunashindwa kuelewa wasichana wetu mm-hmm. such that sisi ndio tunawafanya watu pay troubles mm-hmm. juu ukiwa uko kazini alafu you're not sure about your maid mm-hmm. nakwambia you do not do anything you mm-hmm. can't Unaka. do anything alafu ukikuja kwa nyumba unasikiza mtoto sana kuliko msichana mm-hmm. unaona kwambia anti alinchapa anti alifanya yes. no juu the reason behind unaanza makelele mary wewe mm-hmm. huwa unachapa mfanye kazi wako kumchapa hapana mm-hmm. uwezi mchapa mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ya ni kama dada yako ndo mmoja na watoto wako akikuangalia so mm. unafumpende venye unaweza penda mm. mtoto wako na unaweza penda sister yako unamaanisha hatufai kuachapa because i've had very many times that wanawake wanachapa wasichana wa kumchapa lakini kuna instant sana ufaikani kumchapa kama amefanya makosa but assuming i'm not siambi mtu wote akachape msichana mm. assuming wale wameka camera mm. unakuja unapata kama vile sijua mtoto anakataa kula na mchapa magofi pa 
you're still human. Mm. Utakuja utamkasirika, utakuja tu muongelesha mambo kupeleka police. Mm -hmm. You will react. Lakini like we, we are discouraged. Utakuja utamchapa kwanza. Kwanza unamchapa kabla afike police station. Unamchapa vizuri. Sasa ina depend ni nini amefanya? Tufanye ni kuwachapa kama hawajafua. Hiyo si reason ya kumchapa why? Eh? But I also feel uh, regardless of yeah I know sometimes wana is kuwa so you know messy. Mm. Uh, I feel imagine huyo mtu umeajiri mtu wa like 25 years umempata yes alikuchapia mtoto. Mm -hmm. um, na wale wanawake ni wale wale. Would you rather mchapa ama umfukuze? Um, in a dependent me mchapa to what extent? Mm. Eh kuna venye unaweza pata the child is vulnerable ame mchapa sana. Mm. Hiyo ni ni reaction set you are fighting mm, no mm. uta react umweke slap eh yeah, hivyo hiyo mm, mm. ni reaction because mm. kuna vitu wewe unajua tusijieke ati tutakuja ni kwambia i'm taking you to the police hiyo tu ni kitu utakuja uone utastuka mm. so how will you react when you tamgonga but you will not fight mm. In, in such a situation na uta fight utenda um report yes wow. lakini a, a situation itakuwa ngani reaction itakuwa ngumu slap mm. <laughs> anyway mm, i know it is wrong for us kuchapa wasichana wa kazi It's very wrong what else ni kitu gani ingine inayafanya we hear from mary uh, ni kitu gani ingine inaweza fanya usipate watoto zaidi ya hapo umefikisha mm -hmm. mm. kuna wale wazazi unapata mtoto ako na complication ako na shida fulani mm -hmm. so ukiimagine ile process ile mlipitia hospitali mm -hmm. mnalala hospitali mtoto anakusumbua ulali mm -hmm. unashinda in uwe kazi yako ni hospitali ulishaandikiwa kwa ni kwenda kurudi kwenda kurudi mm -hmm. utakuwa na ile trauma kupata mtoto mwingine utaogopa mm -hmm. utajiuliza ukipata mtoto mwingine akikuwa the same kama huyo mm -hmm. itaku fanya mm -hmm. usipate mtoto mwingine hiyo mm -hmm. sickness mm -hmm. unapata hizo zinaweza fanya mtu asipate mm. uh, ni inakuwa ni kama trauma mm, yes. trauma mm. mm. anaona eh na nikaweza pata alafu mwingine kwa kama huyu mm. na huyu venye alinisumbua hata unapata mwingine ameacha job mm -hmm. ndio kujiangalia mtoto mpaka mm -hmm. senyata grow kwe sawa kabisa by the way na inakuwa challenge mm. na watu hawaelewi mm. 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 wa na in that case unapata hana help Mm, yeah, yeah you them. know apart from your yeah, house help mm -hmm. kama huyo ana need help mm -hmm. yes from the partner what probably could make that person a feel secure kupata mtoto because at least sema that is the end of it maybe amepata ako tu na mm -hmm. complication mm -hmm. ivo kuishi hospital now and then ama ako na condition yenye mm -hmm. ana need special care ni kitu gani anaweza fanya ama how can they be helped they need support mm -hmm. sana sana the partner Mm. Kwa mtoto ni, wa, ni wako na bwana yako si wako peke yako. Mm. Ile sana mwanamke amejifungua mtoto wake yako na condition mm. you need to be there. Kama ni saa kumpeleka hizo clinics mm. take your wife mm. eh mm. mu encourage mu yate ni ile saa watu be there. Mm. 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 Be your role kama unini bwana. Mm. Mkae huko muongee, mm. mu encourage ndio mm. feel mtoke. Unajua times unapata ukipata mtoto wako na condition bwana anatoka ni kama si wake. Kuna hata wengi tunaoka. Mimi ni kile kumpeleke peke yako. Kama ni hizo therapy mpeleke nda kupatia pesa. Hapo anataka support be there. Hataki ni pesa it's okay but be there. Leo leo kama ni bwana bibi amempeleka next week wewe mpeleke. Mm -hmm. eh, be there. Wanataka support. Mpaka bibi ni bwana kwa jirani ya mtu wako na mtu wako na mtoto kama huyo. Mm. Be loving. Usikue cause haijafanyika kwa kupenda kwao. Mm. You are not told to choose. Mm. Sasa so, be there kama wewe ni jirani, mtoto kama wewe umekuja kwa kosi mfukuze kwa zitapata wengine hata wanafunga mlango. Mm. Anakambia mm. rudi kwenye. Mm. That is very bad. Mm. Kwa empathetic then what I'm going to say it's it is okay mm. but at least ata hiyo kitu i get over it because yes. baby on, on trauma mm. eh yeah. mm. sasa so, so, need support from so i think uh, that uh, the support in as a side huyo mwanamke hata kuweza kupata watoto wengine mm. yes. eh, because for sure uh, unaona watu wengi sana wenye wampata hiyo mtu mwenye ako maybe able differently mm -hmm anashindwa kupata mtoto mwingine mm. hata kama sasa alikuwa wa kwanza ana stick na huyo mmoja mm. ama akizaa na kuwa mega sana yes. ana kama 10 years mm. 15 years mm. but i feel um, i also highly feel uh, 
those people need to be loved yes. and support. Pia ya pesa. Yes, waki mkicheza activities involve them. Kama unapeleka watutu kama tenuza bonusi mkansu chuko mbaka uya wake ingeni. As in, asiyoni ni kama they may be in another group. Kama ni watutu wate ni watutu. Yes, so that would make this person. Na si kumanisha juli za moja akiwa hivo. Wote wata kuwa hivo. Wote wata kuwa hivo. That's nice. Anyway, thank you so much uh, for that bit. We are going to take a short break and then we come back and I find, uh, I see whether I have some questions or rather concerns and then I'll read them out. So thank you. Welcome back my viewer and thank you so much for tuning in and also for the concerns and comments that you guys are sending to me. If you are tuning in right now, welcome so much. We are having this conversation with Lillian and Mary and I'm so glad that uh, today we are, we are talking about why women do not, the women of nowadays especially, they are not getting many kids and of course we have highlighted some of them. Uh, could be the trauma those people uh, got when they were delivering the first child, you know, maybe they never got support. Maybe they were sometimes told uh, at some stage told to abort. They did not get any kind of support. So they might also feel a asita ongeza mwingine. And also uh, there's the Mary had also mentioned about the financial status. You know, uh, unataka kupeleka watoto wako shule, wa mzuri, wakule vizuri, shelter, everything. We want to give them a good life. So inaiza pia kufanya mwanamke ashindwe kuza watoto wengi. And there are very many of them especially. And I like the way this, this person called Michelle. And Michelle is telling us something uh, that Mimi, the reason si jai pata mtoto mwingine, it's because of the in-laws. Uh, wanakuaga, wanaingilia mtu sana na wanakuaga dictators. So Mimi, apana, siwezi leta watoto wenye ni kama ninafaitia na our in-laws. <laughs> so I don't know how at what extent wa wana wa dictatia and how they dictate but anasema I, I wanted to cut the bit of the in laws mm -hmm. could in laws wa naweza kufanya usizae watoto wengine Yes, mm -hmm. in-laws wanaweza kufanya mtu asizae watoto wengine kwa nini? Mm -hmm. Kuna kama sai in African kuna naming system. Mm -hmm. Unapata ukinye anaenda saidia bwana. Ukinye msa mimi unaweza kuwa unapata tuseme kama girls mm -hmm. ama wao gender girls ama boys. Yes, unapata hiyo yes. ndio gender unapata sana. Mm -hmm. Sawa so, anasema kama uzae hii saidia tu kama uzae mm -hmm. mtu wa kwetu hata mm -hmm. atuko interested. So unapata wala watoto ume umewa nimo wazao kwa nimo kwenye ni kama kuna kama wapendi vile kwa hiyo hiyo dictation hey tunataka uzee jenda flani ndio tunimu flani so that can unasama hey chani miwa le nimezani hawa na sezai wengine mdo mtu nataka kuzaliwa as jizai ama mbio watoto wengine na by the way kuna hiyo i've even had a case of uh, a sister in law dies and then they want uh, now this lady to give birth to a baby. Actually, they were saying, Uzai mtoto, akwe kijana ama msichana, we will name after that lady who passed on. Mm -hmm. Na ikakuwa ni hivyo mimi ya pana. Si mm -hmm. zai. True, so, it's very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Izo maneno za naming kwanza. Mm -hmm. Kuna trip zina kwa gaiwa. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Lazima uzai uko kwa. Yeah, uzai uko kwa na unemi hivyo. Uh, na talking about gender. Um, kuna watu lazima upata hii type of gender. True. Kuna wana ume lazima upate ya kijana Kuspopata kijana Shida Na ye mwanamki ataka tu wapo wazae Kuna wanya wanaza Wanaza mba kasi nyotafiki ya kijana Inabidi sasa mwaza Mbani wengine watawo Iyo kitu kusana sana the gender thing Inafanya wale wanaza Waugope kuo kwa nini Umepata msichana wa kwanza Mbani umeza ukapata msichana wa pili so unambua kama utazaki jaina usizai 
so you are like sababu ya kwamba tukiwe na wako shuta za na kuna hiyo pana simkose kuzaa basi eh tukae na wao tuko na wako za rise rudi eh nenda kana so that fear of uzee uzee the same gender tena kuna wale wanaka ene pana nilijaribu kwanza ni the same gender kama ni vijana mezaa vijana wawili kuna wale maybe kama mwanaume hakulelewa na nini baba yake mimi nataka kuzaa mama yake na mzee tu boys anakwambia kama mzee mom hivyo so you are like understand kipata member na probability by the way kama uko na two girls probability it's another girl kwa hai ni another girl kama uko na two boys probability it's another boy na squeeze is juni aje kunaenda sasa hiyo kitu ina hinda wengine you like uko na one gender sana na unaogopa kuongezea that gender so unapata he mtu mfikia i mean it Ah, uh, Mary, can you uh, 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 maybe do you think mwanaume mm -hmm. anaweza fanya mwanamke asizae and in what way? Mhm. Mm kweli, mm -hmm. mwanaume anaweza fanya mwanamke asizae. Mm -hmm. Unapata watoto kama ni wasichana tupu anaanza kukuambia anataka kijana. Mm -hmm. Akisema anataka kijana, mm -hmm. sasa huko unakosa ile moral ya kupata watoto. Yes. Alafu tena mwanaume anaanza kuku, kukuambia ukipata watoto wengi tena itakuwa ni issue kwa leo. Mm. Mm. Sasa inabidi unapunguza watoto according mm. to yeye venye anataka. Mm. Mm. True mwanamume mm. anaweza fanya usizae. Kwa nini mtu ukiwa na watoto wengi anakuja anasema hii ni fruit boy. Azim tu anakuja. Azim na fanya TV the fun. Na ni wake. Vibaya eh. Hata kikuja saa zingine jioni anakuuliza utaenda wapi na watoto watatu? Utaenda wapi na watoto wengi? Uko hapo you here to stay. Sasa unaona ukianza kwa hiyo mentality. Unaanza kuwa na ka insecurity yako. Sasa unaanza kusema watoto wapo ndo full stop. Wewe mwenyewe unajiambia, hujamwambia, unajiambia. Na hii saying ya wewe tu kazi yako tu ni kuzaa. Akikwambia hivyo. Is that a motivation? Wewe utakuwa utatamani kuzikuongeza. Mm. So pia wana, wanaume wanatufanya tusizae yeah, yeah. they need to know that. Mm -hmm. uh, nyinyi mnasikia je kama wanawake mm -hmm. uh, is a man supposed to be negative about how you giving back to his own kids. No. You don't see ati watoto unatoa mm -hmm. mm -hmm. ni nguvu yake. Mm -hmm. So um, are they sub, are, you, are we supposed to be feeling evil? Like no, ni kama niko insecure, ni kama you know married hapana mm -hmm. nafaa kuku encourage na kuambia watoto ni wenyu yes. mtalea he'll be, he'll be there for them mm -hmm. yes. ataku yani atakuwa there through thick and thin mm -hmm. yeye atakuwa encourage at least utakuwa unajua kuna mtu mm -hmm. ako behind your back mm -hmm. lakini ikaanza kuja kupatia negativity negativity ana mama poa si ako ina poa mtu alifua nani ile job yenye ulimtoa oh especially kuna wao watu by the way people are men were always doubting i don't know why those men doubt sometimes i even think these people are not providing enough why can you doubt your woman mwenye amekuzalia watoto wengine ikuwe wa mwisho sio wako and it's simply because you do not want to take responsibility. Ningine hata nilikuwa nasikia an argument anasema kwa tu tupatangi twins hapana ama ukipata mtoto mweupe kuna 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 mtoto mweupe kuna watu weupe sasa na labda tukana ni mweupe apate dimple kwa nini kwetu kuna mtoto ana dimple sasa sasa unatasa sasa tutafanya DNA ya macho and uh sijui ama mnajua but uh, there is a research that was done and uh, the biggest nini number the largest number in inafanya abortion ni watu wameoleka the women who are married na sio tu mwenye ameoleka akaachwa mtu wako na bwana yake kwa nyumba i have even had people wenye wanapigana kabisa Bibi alitoa mimba akuambia bwanake. Bwanake anakuja kujua leta inakuwa ni shida. What do you think would be the problem with us now? Because tunajua that the safest place yenye ufai kushtuka ukipata mimba ni marriage. Lakini wao would they even be at niko afraid that guy niko na mimba. Yaani nikiwa msidana na uopa nisipate mimba bado nikiwa. You know what is wrong with us? I guess ukiona mimba na unajua bwana wako atakukelelesha. Hiyo ni reason ya kwanza reason ya pili wende ujende ikifikisha 6 months wende angalie jende upate bado ni girl mm hiyo -hmm. ni reason ya pili mhm mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mwanaume mm -hmm. ni reason ya pili utatoa mimba alafu tena kuone hauna kazi mm -hmm. uko kwa nyumba na bado umepata mimba mm -hmm. unataka kutoa Mm. Yes. Mm. Na hata kubadilika hizo zone uko na hiyo mimba mimi mimi bila mnakaa kwa nyumba wewe na yeye uone 
already uko pregnant mm -hmm. and change mm -hmm. azina anaweza kuambia hey pia utaenda sijui mm -hmm. nataka kuoa tena na ngoro ni kona nyumba that will push you there mm -hmm. kwenda huko eh vile tu ana vile mnaka kwa hiyo nyumba ita determine if you keep that pregnancy mm. eh kama ko responsible kama ana ata hiyo idea major things you can introduce to your idea kama mm. mimi sasa ni pregnant nasema natoka pata mtu mwingine anza kwamba wewe ni kama sasa hii niko na lori na lipa mtu kama yuko na lori na lipa sasa hizo iko pamu hii iko pamu hii kwa sasa hii ni kasikio naweza afukuza hii watu na watu wako mimi tusonge mkenda Eh, wewe unataka kufukuza sawa tu dudu. Haina mm. kupeleka tu mm. the, that part. Mm. Mm. Anyway, and um, I feel bad for that because uh, we've been raised at a generation where kids are valid. Yeah. You know, one of it is the worth ya mtoto. Sasa kwa hiyo mtoto anakuja na sania. Eh, unaelewa? Mwanaume akisikia uko na mimba hana shida, hana hata shilingi moja, lakini yako it's okay. Kila kitu itakuwa sawa. But now we are in this new generation where we sijui. Ama ni sisi tuna evo because there are risks. Uh, I feel it would be bad also for a woman to be pregnant if they are not sure. Yes. Sometimes PSC women are too cost. Mm -hmm. Why would I be nijiachilie nipate ball alafu nianze hapo ndio senses zinarudi na woman ume kama yuko responsible. Mm -hmm. Nianze ni kutoa you know mm -hmm. and it feels bad when you are reading umeza like umeza and then you realize niko na mimba utoe you imagine ningeza mtoto kama mm -hmm. True. It, you know it feels bad mm -hmm. and when your husband akikuja kujota inaweza kuwa shida mwanza shida kubwa mm -hmm. sana yeah so um what about infidelity you know unfaithfulness ya mwanaume umeoleka uko na mtoto mmoja wa pili umeanza ku hata labda hauna evidence but umeanza kushukuni kama this man anaweza kuwa na relationship nyingine mahali pengine can that woman be uh, bold enough kupata watoto wengine that is still a reason ile inaweza fanya mtu akose kutaka kupata si uniko na watoto wawili unapata bwana kwa into a relationship hii ndio kutip unini back from getting more children kwa nini utakuwa unaona na kitoka ende kwa huyo mwingine sababu kuna wale wanaume wanachukua hiyo kama ni an escape good anasema hii hiyo sasa vile yako na nyumba ako na attitude hiyo nyumba imependi so ana tafuta tu njia za kwenda to the second person mm. so hiyo ku find out mtu nini when you married to an unfaithful person mm. inaweza kuhinda mtu sana mm. from getting more kids kama already ako na watoto mm. yes wow. what about you what do you think mary about the same thing about this mm. look eh uh, it itakupata ukipata uki bonako na cheat na bado unataka kuka, ukupata mtoto mwingine mm. itakuwa ni ngumu mm. kwa sababu ukiimagine ukipata mtoto uendelee kupata watoto atatoka ende kwa huyu mwingine mwenye mm. kuna mmoja mm. mwenye amejiangalia mwenye ako sawa huko mm. kuna watoto wengi anaona we kuna mnago mwe ni mzigo kuna watoto wengi unashindwa kuitisha huyo kuna mtoto mmoja huyo amuitishi sasa atakimbilia kwa yule mwenye kuna mtoto mmoja ubaki ukiwa hapo na watoto nangangana nao na hata provide hata provide yule mwingine the biggest fear ni ile sa hata sa pregnancy si sana unaangalia postpartum cuz kuna some weeks utakaa bila atakuwa anaenda wapi hiyo hata utakufikiria Eh atakuwa anaenda wapi those 6 weeks ama 8 weeks zile utakuwa umejipatia rest mpaka mm -hmm. recover. Mm -hmm. That part tukifikiria kuna mtu nje hata bila ya kukua mm -hmm. hauta go through na kupata mtoto mwingine. Mm -hmm. Wow, Th that is very deep because um, sometimes we just think ni choice ya mwanamke kukosa ama ya a family kukosa kupata watoto wengi uh, but sometimes inakuwa forced na wanaume but kuna wanaume wanapenda watoto mm. na unapata sasa wanawake wa wapati na kwa gaiba vice so as you kwa nini kuna wanaume wanapenda watoto yeah. lakini unaoa bibi bibi bado ba, 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 kwa na class mm. kama saa hizi mm. na mimi mimi naweza prefer ku 
mm. kuzalia the high hospitals zile ziko na jina lakini kama yeye anapenda watoto na anataka kupeleka the low hospitals mm. yeye ku motivate mm. so bado inaangalia who are you married to mm -hmm. priorities gani zake ni gani mm. kama anajipenda hiyo maybe anataka high life na maybe you are not able to afford yes. so unapata kitu kama hiyo maybe unini ule na withhold sababu anasema ai mimi nikikumbuka ile hospital nitaenda acha tu nikae na hao hao wametosha na wale wana kionyo wapendi mwili zao zikisaga kuna hiyo part by the way ataki mwaribie shape ya mwili anataka baki vile vile hata wengi wanyonyeshi wengi wanyonyeshi wanakata kwa squeeze wanakata wanataka wakishapata mtoto akunywe nani akunyanya atakunywa maisha endelee hakuna kunyonyesha mtoto mm -mm. utamwaribia looks zake za msichana of course of course na bado anataka kukaa kama msichana mm -hmm. wow but uh, some things nafikiria gazi na kujaga after postpartum ni need depression because kitu kama hiyo mm -hmm. because na, najua after nini one of the nini ya, ya science ya kuonyesha you have a nini postpartum uh, depression ni kukataa kunyonyesha mm -hmm. kukataa kukua ku give you know kunyonyesha ni inamaanisha una give toto care to that to the child mm -hmm. sometimes nafikiria ni hiyo care during that motherhood ama yes, ama tu mtu anaamua tu watu kuna wenye wanaamua hata wasi na squeeze si wengi wanasema ndenda cs mm -hmm. Ando, ndio ni kwe ni kwa sawa ndio mm, mm. yes, yes, taki kupush ndio ni kwa ni kwa sawa bado mm. kuna mwenye sitaki ku breastfeed ndio matiti ibaki vile tu iko mm -hmm. not because they are sick mm -hmm. eh ni yetu ame make a decision mm -hmm. ya kujikip hata hapo hata wasi na wadogo ukisikia kila mtu anakwambia mimi mm -hmm. naenda cs cpt mm -hmm. leba mm -hmm. Mimi naenda to see mm. without knowing there is also any pain through that. <laughs> eh. Anyway, ah, eh, na ni mbaya, you know, kwanza mtu anasema hataki kunyonyesha, huyo ni mtu definitely. Si mother. Hata mm. mother, huyo hata hizi za watu mm -hmm. wengi. True. Akienda sana wawili mm -hmm. na nile ya kufosiwa. Ndio yes. nasema motherhood is a calling. <laughs> Hii nayo ni calling. Wengine tu waende teaching. A <laughs> <laughs> concentrate na career. <laughs> a calling. Full time job. Mm, yeah, it's a full time job, job. Mm. na iko na challenges but there are sweet challenges. Mm. Yes. Or rather ni zite bitter sweet sweet bitter but mm. zote lazima as a woman you were made for that. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so I don't feel inafaa kuwa shida. So let's take a short break tukikuja to wrap up na more uh, of the reasons why women are not getting pregnant or getting kids many kids. So because of course tumeona nyingi hapa. So let's take a short break and then we'll be back. Thank you. Welcome back and thank you so much. So tuko karibu kumalizia hii good conversation ya why women are not getting many kids. Of course mumesikia very many th uh, things and uh, reasons from our guests Lilian and Mary. And uh, of course uh, the comments that you guys are sending me are so related. I think um, this is us something yenye uh, inapitia uh, kila mwanamke, you know, ina relate because wengi wanasema ni Uh, job you know finances is of it and the kind of life you want to give your kids so uh, keep up with this conversation unaweza tuandikia as we wrap up to some what you want to tell us our social media is gbs tv africa our sms line is 2144 so um, what else could make a woman not you know give birth to many kids ama wewe unaweza kosa kuongeza mtoto si semi usiongeze mm -hmm. kwa nini acha tu personalize mm -hmm. ndio ikuwe vitu kwa ground mm -hmm. nini inaweza kufanya usiongeze watoto sahi umesema you are a mom of three mimi ile kinaweza fanya ni si ongeze watoto mm -hmm. kama kama saa hizi mm -hmm maybe ni, ni sana sana naangalia in case in case bwana yuko au watu tunaweza walea unajua mm. first unajiangalia unaangalia what am i niweza sustain hao watoto waendelee kama ni zile shule wanasomea waendelee kuko hiyo shule mm -hmm. kama ni hospital wapate the good health mm -hmm. eh, kama ni education bado wapate good education yes. mm. mali unakaa uishi your dream place hizo mm -hmm. 
Sasa vitu kama hizo ndio naangalia sana nikiangalia kuongezea mtoto. Mm. Sababu utapata at times unaweza kuwa na watoto wengi wale maybe you can't feed yes, them yes. a balanced meal mm. unapata uko na watoto wengi tu the eat one meal kila saa. Mm. Uh, kama ni hiyo time niko ni hiyo time na watu watu kuz si zai nisijazalia wasichana nimezaa watu wake wangu mm -hmm. niwafunze so i want to know niko na hiyo time ya kukaa na wao mpaka ni wa mold vile watakuwa useful kwa society mm -hmm. yes those are some of the things mm -hmm. that i look what about mary mm, according to me ndangalia mm. kama biashara yeah. kazi mm -hmm. zikienda chini mm. watu tutaweza kuwapatia meal venye ulikuwa umezoa kuwapatia mm -hmm watoto tutaweza kupatia education yenye ulikuwa umezoa kuwapatia mm. sasa ukianza kuangalia zikienda chini au watoto tutawapunguzia lifestyle yao mm. utawapunguzia everything yenye walikuwa nakula wanavaa wanafanya utarudisha chini mm. itakuwa bado itakuwa ni sipo wa kwa watoto mm. ulikuwa mbazoesha life flani alafu narudi narudisha chini mm. sijakata biashara zao kuja sometimes zinaenda chini zikienda mm. juu zikienda juu mm. sasa inabidi unaangalia watoto future yao wenye mm. wataka mm life yes. venye itakuwa mm -hmm. mm, naangalia future mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so na hiyo inaweza kuwa big reason yeah. uh, what about career women mwenye mimi ni career woman mm -hmm. si, ni kama tu amepata watoto because anafaa kuwa na familia huyo mm -hmm. mtu i, the career woman inamfanya ashindwe kupata watoto wengi Mm. Yes, mm. career inafanya. Utapata sasa hiyo ukiandika CV kuna hizo blank space ulikuwa unafanya nini from this to this. So umeingia kazi, you cannot no, maybe you have been jobless for a long time, umepata this career umeandikwa mm. na labda hiyo hiyo kazi hawana hizo maternity leaves mm. na nini. Mm. So umeingia uko kazi first year maybe you have two kids wewe nini utaona maybe wanasema wanapatiana hiyo maternity hizo leave maybe kama umekaa company 5 years mm. sasa so, kitu kama hii na kulimit kupata watoto mm. unakaa unaangalia niki nikipata watoto during the, before those five years wanaweza kunivuta kazi mm. tena kuna zile kazi hata uweze fanya ukiwa hiyo ukiwa pregnant mm. unakaa unaangalia nikiwa na watoto naongezea mtoto this time itanifanya ita interrupt kazi yangu mm. Yes. Sasa hiyo career wise then kuna zile career ukishaingia huko kwa kwa top kwa hiyo career sasa. Yeah. Sasa watu wanaona ni kama ni distraction. Mm. Eh sasa career mara nyingi inaweza fanya. Mm. Sasa utapata career women sana sana wana opt waanze na kuzaa ndio sio ikiingia career ki mali itakuwa imeshika vizuri sasa hapa kuna kuongezea. But there are very many career women who are who are wenye wana watoto. Mm. na kama kuna mtoto hata mtoto hamuona you know na ni mmoja mm. and uh, sometimes i even ask myself why are we then working you know <laughs> i you know before you get a child you do not know the joy that comes around mm. you know knowing that this is this you know almost your flesh ni kama ka flesh ka dola ka ko nalea there's a, a joy in inakuja I remember there's this lady whom I love and I talk Kadibi and Kadibi recently alipata mtoto and uh, alikuwa nilikuwa naona video akisema alikuwa amesha prepare vile atatengeneza ataandika nani a professional one kabisa amlipe pesa nyingi mm. uh, but until ile siku alipata mtoto akuwa ame, ame make decision vizuri mm -hmm. after that alishindwa kabisa kutafuta nani mm. because of the joy that comes around mm. the child so sometimes i feel um, instead ya kuleta mtoto umle umpe watu wengine heri tu fanya mm. mm. si ndio yes. yeah because you are denying that person mm. the motherly love yenye nobody else no one else not mm. even your mom mm. can give your child yes. that eh? mm. so um, i don't know sometimes I, I ask whether it's career <laughs> family because I know at the end of it all you will not bring the career to be there for you. There are mm. moments of family. Yes. Yeah. 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 So we've talked so much about why women do not uh, uh, get nini, many kids but to mess how to touch about employment. Unapata like in the world today to easily live to na income ya mwanaume. What about unemployment? inaweza fanya mtu akose kupata watoto tuseme leo you auna biashara mm. 
size unaweza pata mm. uko na biashara kama hauna na uko na support ya bwana yako unapata kulingana na ile mapato unaijua unajua <laughs> mwanamke ndiye anajua mapato ya bwana yake kuongeza mtoto mwingine mm. Unaangalia income yako vile inakupeleka. Mm. So, kama hauko job. Eh, mm. Kama uko job uko kwa nyumba. Mm. Ni ngumu kupata mtoto mwingine kwa sababu ukiangalia income vile ina, inakupeleka mm. unaona kuna ajuleta mtoto mwingine u struggle mm. na income ni kidogo. Mm. So afadhali ukae na wale wenye unawezana yenye income ya bwana wako yenye nakusaidia. Hiyo mm. hiyo at least itakuwa inawasaidia kuliko ukiangalia biashara na biashara inaenda chini. Sasa unaka nao wawili enye income mbona kileta hiyo inawasaidia. Na si watu usema mtoto ukuja na sahani yake. Hasan, Hasan. Ukuja na sahani yake. Uh, ifanye kange haraka sababu hiyo <laughs> sahani lazima ute. Kuna mali itakuwa imetoka. Mm. Sana sana when one partner ndio anafanya kazi, unakaanga unaangalia kuna kwanga na lot of nini ata strain sana. Mm. Maybe mko na watoto wawili na wewe na bado ana strain wewe hata kama anataka watoto hauwezi ongezea sababu already una experience training mm. eh cause at times so unaweza pata ni bona na provide hiyo kidogo na kupea una, una make sure imetosha mm -hmm. eh anini a good woman hata kipoa kidogo aseme ni kidogo na angalia mm. kidogo tutafanya nayo nini mm. eh sasa hapo uweze kaa ufikire ongezee mwingine mm. already your training mm. so an employment inaweza fanya mtu hata kama unataka watoto ukose kuongezea mm. yes tena hata vile watoto wamefuatana inaweza fanya times unaweza pata uko na watoto wameachana na age age group uh, age gap ya 2 years hivyo unapata huyu mtoto wote ni watoto hata nobody can take care of them another one mm. unapata hata ukisema uongezee maybe the mkubwa sana uko na 6 years 6 mm. years uko na 6 years uko na 3 uko na 4 years uko na zingira hiyo wewe uko <laughs> eh sasa inakuwa so, challenge yes inakuwa challenge i don't know why we have come to that end because uh kitambo they never complained mm. those women and those are the women who are dying at 100 years 105 10 and they were strong but look at us we are just complaining a lot there's no finances <laughs> taking care of the kids but yeah. sorry to say we die young mm -hmm. mm. kitambo life ilikuwa very as in tuseme cheaper mm. ile shop yes. ungefanya 1000 are 1000 alikuwa umeenda bali umeenda bali eh na hiyo ni ya mwezi hata hiyo ninamaliza they didn't even mm. make those big uh, shopping mm. i love everything was cheap mkate ilikuwa cheap nyumba house like, ilikuwa yeah. iko affordable mm. say everything has gone high mm. sasa kuna hiyo na malipo bado iko haijaongezeka haijaongezeka mm. mm. so ukiangalia then say kitambo kwa kuna watu wengi mpaka sasa watu wamezaa sasa mko na shangana za hai ni wakae wapi already already kila mahali kumesha kumesha mpaka kule lunch zilikuwa zinauzo chips already zilisha ongezwa kwa price cuz watu ni wengi what can you tell that person of course because we are wrapping up that person who would want to give back to 5 6 7 ah ni nini ataangalia ndio tuende tusiache tu watu hivyo so nisipate nyinyi na nyinyi yes I would like to encourage wale wanataka kupata 5 and above ama manu msiogope tunapata tunapata watoto ni wazuri ni baraka mm. eh, just know how to take their, to, to take care of those children mm -hmm. sasa ile saa unini ukiamua ni wangapi just know the difference tena tafuta kitu utafanya msaidiane ndio hata kulea watoto ikweni mm. good saidiana wewe bwana wako na hata the nanny that you will have take mm. good care of them mm. ndio kukulea watoto ikwe an easy job mm. Yes. Wow. Uh, watoto ni baraka na kila mtoto anakuja na sahani yake. Mm. Kupata watoto wengi si makosa. Mm. Watoto wengi wanaleta baraka kwa nyumba wanaleta happiness, wanaleta joy. Those who want to get watoto watatu ni sawa, nyanataka kupata wengi pia ni sawa. Mm. Tuliambiwa tujaze dunia. Uh, by the way na watu wajaze dunia <laughs> na kwa sababu ya hayo machache tuachie watu sasa wa decide. Yeah. But if a person wants to have many kids, me sometimes I feel uh, wale watu walikuwa ga wengi kwao unajua happy yeah, very fun. Fun. Hey. get together mnena mapata na hizi sisi fulani mmoja sipokuja mko wawili huko mmoja watoto wawili huko mmoja sipokuja huko mmoja ni unajua hivyo alafu watu wachache hawana kuna wao babling jazeni watoto kama watano ni sawa unajua acha ni call sister yangu kuna yule mwingine kuna brother kuna ai uko like wani mko wangapi 
Nye nye mko tu lucky. So, feels good. Mm-hmm. It's a, a good feeling nye we did not, me personally, I did not experience. <laughs> but I'm thankful. Um, na kwa hayo machache, I wish to now conclude. Because um, lazima tumalizie. And it's so nice to learn that pia men, niki yu ndi opati ni mejua vizuri that men, pia wanafanya wanawake wasiza. Na wanawake wachwe wazai wenye wanataka. Sindio? Yes. Mm, watu wachwe wazai. So, until next time, I have been your host, Shiro Wangige. Bye-bye. Bye.